Virgo, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. All right, Virgo, um, keep in mind that these messages can go vice versa and check your moon and rising sign for additional guidance. And this will not resonate with the entire zodiac sign of Virgo, so keep an open mind about that. All right, everyone, let's get started. Let's get right into it. You have the Ace of Wands in reverse as your overall energy. Someone's not taking action on the situation, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. This could have been... You might be in an on-again, off-again relationship. Okay. And you're being faced with a decision, Virgo. All right, some of you might be working very hard at something. Okay, you might be working towards something, working on something, or you might have a goal set. Uh, all right, couples, let's see. There is some type of an affair going on. Someone is not being honest about what's really going on here. Yeah, there's definitely trickery in your environment right now. And someone in the situation is feeling disappointed and unappreciated. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or you have this placement in your chart. Someone who is a go-getter. Very charming, very charismatic. The life of the party. Someone who is very ambitious and very passionate about what it is that they stand for. And someone is a go-getter, and maybe that's what someone's doing here with this working. Maybe someone has a goal in mind. They're working towards something or working for something. Someone has a goal in mind. All right, Virgo, it looks to me that... You might view someone, you or your partner views the other as having been having made some selfish decisions. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a, a, another Virgo, if this isn't your energy, Virgo. Um, someone sees the other one as having been selfish. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Someone wants to balance things out and make them right. But I don't believe that this balance is related to a current issue. Yeah, strong Virgo energy here with the Hermit in reverse. Someone feels alone in this relationship. Or someone is isolating themselves. Going within to get answers in the upright. This is um, um, the monk. The Hermit is a monk that, that isolates himself and goes on the top of the hill so that he can have time for introspection and reflection he shines the light within to get answers okay so someone is trying to figure out what it is that they want in the situation someone is doing some soul searching all right in your current situation virgo you might feel like you're going around in circles nothing's getting resolved the two of you are arguing about the same thing There's definitely some trickery, some lying, cheating, sneaky behavior that's going on. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo as well, sun, moon, and rising. Um, Leo, uh, or the sun talks about losing hope. So maybe someone is losing hope in the relationship. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus as well in this Hierophant, with this Hierophant rather. But someone wants to move on. Someone's ready to manifest something new. Someone's bored and disappointed in this relationship and they feel unappreciated. Um, someone's ready to, to walk away into something new. Okay, so a separation between the two of you is imminent. Someone's ready to take a break. Someone's definitely going within for prayer and meditation to get answers. Okay, Leo again I have. You're, you have the inner strength to get through whatever it is that you feel is challenging you in this situation. Yes, yeah, some of you are definitely feeling undervalued, underappreciated. 
Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini sun, moon, or rising. This is a major arcana card signaling that it's time to make a head over heart decision. One of you in this situation will be faced with a head over heart decision. Because someone recognizes the trickery that's involved in this situation. Someone's bringing trickery to the table. Deception. Mind games. Okay. So someone is going to have to face that. And whatever this was, whatever this affair was, it was discovered. And this could also be this prayer and meditation. Someone's going within to, to, to someone's going through a period of self-discovery, self-reflection, trying to figure out who they are and what they want. Mysticism. This card talks about knowing what it is that you need to do, but just not doing it. Someone feels like they're in the dark about something, even possibly. Someone feels like there's, someone's lying. Someone feels like there's something that they don't know. Okay, so I'm saying that, that yeah, this was an on-again, off-again situation with you and this person regarding trickery. Okay, someone feels stabbed in the back. Feeling as though this is a three-party situation. Someone is dealing with a current partner. And someone is dealing with an ex because there is an ex returning. Okay. So someone, there, there is going to be separation in this situation and then someone's returning to an ex or there is an ex returning. Okay. So someone is having these rigid mindsets here also. Someone is feeling like they have to go with the status quo and do what is expected of them by society or by family members or something. Because, um, But I'm seeing that it's necessary to become flexible. Don't be so rigid in your thinking is what I'm hearing. Okay, so the answer in your current situation, Virgo, is no. Because some of you might be trying to reconsider your current situation, but the answer here is no. Okay. Because what I'm seeing here is that separation is indeed going to take place. Or some of you could um, deeply be thinking about a separation. And this could be because you have this inner knowing, this deep knowing that there is something better. Oops, with this two of wands, excuse me, I dropped some cards on the floor. You want something more. You want expansion. You feel like you're stifled in this relationship and you want something more. Some of you could be spending a lot of sleepless nights worrying about the situation, having a lot of ruminating thoughts, negative thoughts, worries. Because you deeply know that it's time to walk away. Okay, so yeah, definitely some separations, divorces even possibly with some of you with this Hierophant and the Two of Cups. Someone spying too. We've got some strong spy and gossip energy going on. Okay, so there's another uh, person in the middle of your situation, which is causing this. Someone is thinking about an ex, and someone may sneak away to be with an ex. Someone could have already been sneaking away. Some of you have been waiting to hear from this person. And you're hoping to hear from this person because I have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Someone is definitely thinking about the other. And this is um, someone external from the relationship. This is someone that someone has true love and adoration for. And that's what this manifestation of something new is about. Someone wants to wipe the slate clean with someone from the past. Because I see that someone from the past is definitely returning to the situation. There is a situation in your current situation, Virgo, where communication is an issue. Um, the two of you either are not able to communicate effectively or you keep fighting about the same thing over and over and over again. Some of you could be traveling to be with someone at a distance, but there has been a delay in travel. And it's probably because of this mysticism and this deep knowing. Someone's not making a decision, right? But they have this deep knowing that they're supposed to do something, but they're not taking the time to do it. Like I said, some of you could be waiting to hear from this person. And I'm seeing chop wood. 
And this means go about your everyday life. Don't worry about it. Just go through your go on through your everyday mundane activities, trusting and knowing that this act of calling in your soulmate is going to reap results. Okay, because some of you are definitely calling in your soulmate. And you have this deep knowing that you're supposed to be with this person. But someone is just not taking the action necessary um, to bring this, to um, to do what it is that they're, they're being divinely instructed to do. But I'm seeing that the truth will come out. Someone is going to get mental clarity. This mysticism, this doubt, this, this um, confusion, it's going to lift. And the truth will be revealed. And then this could be the truth being revealed to yourself or this could be discovery. Someone else could discover what's really going on because I'm seeing that some secrets are going to come out and someone's going to be hurt in this situation. Someone feels um, stabbed in the back and uh, rejected. Yeah, someone's not turning their back on this situation. Not on the current situation, but on this external situation. Someone has not turned their back. Even though they're involved with someone else, they haven't turned their back. And someone could be just being a player. So you might feel like your partner is, uh, they might be giving you the impression that they're committed, that they're all in when they're really not behind your back, they're playing around. There was some type of a turn down offer involved in this situation. And some of you might have a family with someone. Someone feels taken for granted. They're, yeah, this is what this communication is about. There's a lot of conflict in the home. There's a lot of fighting and bickering about the same thing. And you could be bickering about family issues. Someone wants out. They're ready to start something new elsewhere. They want to take a leap of faith elsewhere. And they may be leaving to return to an ex and they may be sneaking away. Someone wants forgiveness. This is someone from the past, Virgo. Someone from the past wants forgiveness or you want forgiveness from someone from the past because someone's feeling a lot of remorse about how things played out. And this person in the past was someone that wasn't willing to work and cooperate on making the relationship better in the past. Seeing that someone needs to make a head over heart decision and a final decision will be made. And someone could have a family with an ex as well. So they could be returning to another family. So this could be a baby mom, baby dad, co-parenting type of situation. But someone has secrets and someone's not using their intuition. So definitely someone has fear, either fear of commitment, fear of the future. Someone could, um, there could be jealousy, envy, greed in this situation with the devil. Someone could even have addictions. Someone could be overindulging in alcohol or chemical substances. I'm seeing that someone's going to walk away and leave someone in the cold, probably sneak away. Could be dealing with a Libra. If not, someone from the past wants to come back and balance the scales and make things right. And like I said, this could be someone that lives at a distance from you. This could have been someone that you haven't communicated with for quite some time. Someone that you promised that you would not give a second chance to. This person is coming back and they're hoping that you can let go of the past, let go of any burdens, any um, grudges that you have. This is someone that you may, you, you had involved with, with involvement with in the past. You could, like I said, you could even have a family with this person and things became unstable with this person in the past as well, probably around some type of trickery, or maybe there was someone that was cheating with another woman, another, um, the parent of a child, your child, their child. So there's children in common here for some of you. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. But someone is definitely keeping secrets. Someone is in the dark about something. Okay, but like I said, whatever that is about, the truth is going to be revealed. Someone wants to start something new. So some of you may have a new opportunity with an ex coming up. And this ex of yours, they want to work things out with you because they're seeing things for what they really are. And this person may not have seen your worth in the past, but they're hoping to move forward. I'm also seeing travel here as well with the chariot. There could have been delays in the past, but I'm saying that someone is going to move forward or someone is hoping for someone to move forward. 
past life relationship. So this is someone that you've known. You've known each other before, it says. So this is definitely someone you know. This is someone from the past returning. And this situation will play out very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Recovery. You could be waiting to hear from this person, but this is a period of recovery, of reflection right now. And this person from the past, they're coming back to recover what it is that they lost because they didn't see your worth before, but now they do see it. This could have been per, uh, someone that you had conflict with in the past, this ex of yours. You could have had communication issues with them in the past as well. But I'm seeing that this person from the past, a water sign, a, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, for some of you, King of Cups. This is someone who has grown, who had that player mentality before, but has grown and matured into something and someone better because of this uh, quest for self-discovery because of this prayer and meditation. Yeah, someone is really involved spiritually with this hierophant. Some of you are feeling emotionally drained and you're happy about this person from the past returning because you may not have heard from them in quite some time, but it looks as though things are going to work together. This is someone that gave up on this relationship in the past, but I'm saying that the truth will be revealed. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will come out. Serendipity. As if this is some type of a fated event. This is something that is supposed to, to play out. I'm seeing that there will be success with this partner from the past. Be assertive. Say what it is that you want this time around because the two of you will have an opportunity to communicate. Say what it is that you want, because I'm seeing that someone is holding back. Someone's not saying what it is that needs to be said. Someone's not saying, I love you, or saying, I want to be with you. They're holding back their emotions. Your current relationship, Virgo, is going to come to an end. We have the death card, which speaks of endings and transformations. Things are ending in your current situation in order for things to transform. You're going to get a new opportunity with love elsewhere. Some of you are afraid because I did have the devil card that come, came up, but it's time to come to the edge, which means step out on faith. Some of you know what to do, but you're just afraid to do it. Fear of change, fear of the unknown is what's stopping you. Some of you are feeling afraid because you're not sure where you stand with this person. Some of you are having mixed emotions. Some of you are vacillating back and forth between, yes, I want the relationship, and then, no, I don't think I do. You reason yourself out of it. So some of you haven't made a decision. I'm saying that you are going to be faced with having to make a head over heart decision. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius sun, moon, or rising. Someone's losing hope in this situation. But, yeah, it's time to step out on faith. And keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. All right. Holy Spirit, what additional messages or advice do you have for Virgo, the couple Virgos? Okay. You've got a new situation coming in and the situation involves passion. You're very passionate about this person. Seeing that this person from the past could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek, so this is an ex. There's been a lot of changes that have happened between you as individuals. And so the, when the two of you come together, it will be necessary to get to know each other all over again. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So the two of you will have to have a conversation to see where you are in life and if this is the right time for the two of you to come together. And if this is something that you really want. And if so, I'm saying that there is a strong potential here for engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so that's the advice here. One more. Holy Spirit, what additional word of advice do you have for Virgo, Virgo, Virgo? For the second week of November for Virgo. Okay, I'm saying that this will take place in the near future, Virgo. Uh, there will be an opportunity for forgiveness. 
All right, Virgo, this concludes your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. And if you would like to book a reading with me, you can contact me directly on my website. That's where you can book and pay for your reading all at the same, at the same place. And of course, you can email me at angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. And don't forget about Instant Go. That's an app that you can download on your Apple phone and we can open up a chat dialogue about your particular situation. And, um, and this is, I get back to you relatively quick within, within 24 to 48 hours. And it's um, a less expensive way than getting a personal reading. But if you are looking for something with extensive guidance, something that you are, um, yeah, something that you need extensive guidance on, you're better off with a personal reading. And of course I am available for those. I want to reach out to all of you who um, return to my channel every week. I want to tell you thank you. And for those of you who are brand new subscribers, I give you a warm welcome. Thank you for being here. And if this did resonate with you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up at the bottom, um, at, at the thumbs up below. Go ahead and hit that like button. For those of you who are brand new, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do these videos weekly and I wish you all the very best, Virgo, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.